we're just leaving Marysville on our trip to Mount Skeen. It's our first time we're doing a midweek trip. So we've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So the sun's out as we leave Marysville, which is great. However, the forecast for tonight is for wind and for rain, which up where we are will turn into snow, I expect. So hopefully we can find a nice spot in the snow to camp before heading on to Mount Skeen for Thursday night. It's the morning of day two. We've just left Connor Plain and we're heading up to Mount Skeen, which is about 17 kilometers away. So it's a very windy night. The sky is now blue, which is great. The rain we had thought we would get, we seem to have managed to avoid, so that's a good result. We had come on this whole trip hoping to be in snow, but uh, it's not looking that good. I expect we might see some as we get to the very top of Mount Ski. We took the access track, which takes you to the Barclay River Jeep track. For a long time, I've looked on the maps at the Barclay River Jeep track, which the map said was very steep and rocky, and I was very keen to have a look at it to see how difficult it was. As you can see by this little bit at the top, there's lots of rock steps, and where I walk further down the track, that just continued. So especially in the snow, this was not a track for us. Just had a quick look at a potential camp spot, probably for next year, and now we're just heading back down to the main road. Here we are arriving at Mount Skeen. We're about 15, 68 metres. So there wasn't a lot of snow here. Actually there wasn't a lot of snow on uh, this area at all this year. I think we'd come maybe a week too late. That's just the luck of the draw. You've got to plan these things months in advance. It was disappointing to see that people had ventured off the road and had driven around on the plane. So on the top of Mount Skeen, it's three degrees. And as is often the case, <laughs> the weather is lousy. So it's raining and it's windy. So we're not gonna stay here, we're gonna move on. There's an old uh, burnt hut which is just a bit further down the road. We'll go and have a look at that, I think. So after we left the summit, there's a little snowy road down to an old hut where we were going to have lunch. And then finally we came to where we had lunch. It's the end of the track. When there's no cloud, there are tremendous views from this spot. So we had some lunch here, and from here we retreated to Jamison.